and we'll record it and I'll work on those tonight and post them for you guys. Awesome. So let's start laying down. And we're going to have the feet at the corners of the mat. Just a little bit wider, good. And then we're going to take the arms and bring them down to the sides and splay them out a little bit further away from the body. Inhale and let the chest and the belly lift. And exhale, close the eyes. Inhale. And exhale. Deep breath in, let the feet become nice and heavy. And exhale out, release through the fingertips. Inhale, so let the belly lift. And exhale, to let it fall. One more big breath in. And slow breath out. So we're going to slide the right foot onto the floor or onto the mat. And keep that right knee lifted. Lifting the arms up overhead. We're going to reach all the way back as far as we can. And then we're going to splay that right knee out to the side. So don't worry if the knee doesn't touch the floor. Focus on just opening the hip and feeling comfortable. You might notice that your left side starts to pick up off the floor. So just adjust your back to even out. Deep breath in. And exhale, lift that right knee up and bring it over to the left side, coming into a twist and looking over at your right side. Bring that right arm down in line with the shoulder. Keeping the left arm up. Come to a spot where this is comfortable for you. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And lifting that right leg up. Bringing the foot down to the floor. We're going to point the right knee towards the midline of the body. So we're bringing that right knee down into the middle, which is going to point your right foot out to the side. And breathe in. And out. If you need to adjust the foot, adjust the foot. Relax the back. And then press into the inside of that right foot. Lift the knee again. Right knee into the right hand. Draw that knee up towards the armpit. You can bring the left arm down for balance. And then sliding that knee to the middle. Still holding on to it with only the right hand. Extend the right leg down. And then that left foot is going to come up to the mat with the left knee pointed. Both arms up, start to open that left knee to the side, opening the hip. 
and relax in the low back. Draw into the nose softly. And exhale. <sighs> relax gently. Inhale. And exhale, lift that left knee up and draw it over to the right side. Coming into your twist, extending the left arm out. Keeping the right arm up overhead. And breathing. Try and release all the tension out of the right leg. Let it drop to the floor. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, start to lift that left knee up. Place it into the left hand and draw that knee towards the armpit. Big breath in and exhale, bring that knee to the center. Nice and slow, open it up just once more. And then bring it back to the midline, bend the leg out and down to the floor. So the knee is still lifted. And then we're gonna bring that left knee down towards the right leg. Make sure this is comfortable for you. Again, by maybe creating more space in the right hip. Maybe pulling the left knee further away from the midline of the body. If you want more intensity in the front side of the hip. And then exhaling out. Relaxing the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Pressing in the inside of the arch, slide that foot back down and bring the arms and hands onto the belly. Tucking the low back, looking up, and then relaxing the body. Slowly lifting the arms up overhead. But this time we're going to point the fingertips away from the nose and try and touch the fingertips right above our head, keeping a bend in the elbow. Draw the shoulders down, press the middle of the back into the floor, lift the arms up, keeping that bend in the elbow. Sending those arms all the way down, still pressing into the back. And as soon as the back of the hands touch the floor, inhale, start to lift up, bringing those fingertips back to where they were, above the head, reaching back. Deep breath in, reach those fingers up towards the sky. And then exhale, cactus the arms with the fingers and pointing up towards the sky still. Slowly reach up. And exhale. <sighs> Bring it down. And inhale. And exhale, hold here.
holding steady, fingers nice and wide. And then lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Wiggle those fingers. Breathe in. And sigh out. Bring the arms down. <sighs> Bring both knees into the chest. And we're going to try and extend out to the crown of the head and open the chest a little bit more. And then we're going to extend the right leg up towards the ceiling, interlace the fingers around the shin of the left knee, and slowly start to lower the right leg down as slow as you can, as best as you can. Once that leg reaches down towards the mat, start to tuck the toes upward. And then let that leg come back up. Keep that left knee to the chest. And we're gonna switch, just like a bicycle, right knee in, left leg up, lower on the exhale, that left leg, nice and slow. As that leg comes down, start to flex the toes. Let the leg touch the ground. You can keep a slight bend in the knee or a big bend in the knee. And then bringing that left knee up, both knees into the chest. And let's send the feet up towards the ceiling. Tucking the toes once again, so you're able to see the big toes pointing down towards your chin. You're gonna take your hands and cup them into a C. <laughs> and then with that C, you're gonna place them around the back of the leg and rub up and down, adding a little bit of pressure just by pinching into the back line of the muscle. and bring the toes up towards the ceiling. Use your hands to steady at the shins and then point the toes down towards your face. Inhale to point those toes away from the body and exhale, send them back down towards your face. Slowly bending at the knees, bringing the heels close to the hips as you can and then soles of the feet on the mat. Windshield wipe the knees from side to side. And then back up to center. Awesome. So we're going to take the soles of the feet, bring them together, let the knees splay out, coming into a reclined bound angle. For added pressure or to make it more intense, you can take your hands, place them on top of the inside of the thighs and just let them become heavy for added weight. If not, hands down on the floor and just keep the hips open, breathing in through the nose and exhaling to relax through the mouth. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Keep breathing here. Slowly start to push the heels away from the body. And then hold here, breathing in and out. 
Every inhale, the muscles are going to ignite. And on the exhale, they'll relax. Inhale. Take those hands underneath the thighs. And then exhale, draw the knees together. Extend both feet out in front. Coming back into Shavasana, move the hips from side to side. Bringing the right knee to the chest, holding onto that right knee or underneath the thigh with the right hand, you're going to take your left hand and grab onto the foot, flexing the foot. Slowly start to draw that foot towards the body and pushing very gently the knee away. Almost as if you're coming into a reclined pigeon, just without the extra support from the left thigh. Breathing in. And out. And then we're going to take that right foot, place it down on the mat on the other side of the left leg. Trying our best to keep our knee upward, but still just coming into a soft twist. Big breath in. And slow breath out, bring that foot back down, leg back down to the mat. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, draw the left knee to the chest. And same thing on this side, using your right hand to bring that left foot closer to the chest, opening the hip by gently pushing the knee away. So it's almost as if we're trying to create a straight line from the knee to the ankle. And we're bringing that straight line close to the body. You can use one hand on the ankle if it's easier and one hand on the foot. Just keep flexing the toes. Inhale. And exhale, bring that foot over, plant it down onto the floor. Big breath in. And exhale, back to center, extend the leg out. Reaching up overhead. Interlace the fingers together and send the palms lifting away from the body. Bring the armpits down or try to open the armpits a little bit more towards the ceiling. And then we're going to exhale and arch towards the right side. Inhale back to center and exhale arch towards the left side. And then draw back to the midline on the inhale. Slide the soles of the feet back to the mat. Slow the breath down, bring the knees into the chest. And then rock forward, coming into seated. Now your seated is going to be a bit different. We're going to come into the bound angle, but we're going to push the heels away. And we're going to sit up tall, placing our hands on the ankles or on the shins or on the knee. It could even be on the thigh. Just make sure again that you're comfortable. Dropping the shoulders forward and down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's keep taking a deep breath in, sitting up a little bit taller. And we're going to work the hands underneath the calf muscles. It doesn't have to be very far, just to a point where maybe you're getting towards the wrists and you can bring the wrist right underneath the thigh. And then press the chest forward, you can hold here. For those of you that want to take it further, reaching the fingers forward and folding in the turtle, Bring the chin down towards the chest or press forward with the chest and fold in, holding onto the feet.
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly start to walk the hands back. Place the hands underneath the knees and draw them together. Keeping the feet on the mat, hands underneath the thighs, we're gonna round the upper back, chin to chest and hold. And then inhale, hands on the shins, press the chest forward. You can even open the knees up and create more space to bring the body forward as well. And then exhale around. And inhale forward. Tilt the head from side to side. And then cross the legs. Breathing in. And sending the breath out. And inhale. And exhale. Slowly walk the hands forward and fold. Coming into your forward fold, take it as easy as you possibly can. So don't worry about trying to press the chest forward. Just fold here to where it feels comfortable. If you have a pillow close, you can stuff a pillow underneath your chest. If not, just press into the forearms, clasp on the opposite uh, wrists or opposite hands, and fold in. Draw the breath in, and then let the breath out. One more inhale, and exhale, lift up. Staying in your seated position, turning or tilting your head to the right side. Taking that right hand, placing it just above the left ear. Try not to add too much pressure, just let your hand fall where it is. And hold steady, dropping the left arm down. Inhale, back to center. Tilting the ear towards the left, reaching up and over. Bring the head down. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly come back to center. Tilt the chin upward. And exhale, bring the chin down. Inhale, lift the chin up. And exhale, bring the chin down. Awesome, let's come onto our hands and knees. And with our table, we're actually gonna bring the knees wider than hip width apart. So pretty well to the edges of your mat. And you're gonna put your forearms down on the mat and interlace the fingers. Sending the hips back, Bringing the chest down, coming into child pose. And then inhale, come up. And pushing the chest back, but keeping the hips lifted. It's not a big movement, but at least you might feel it through the shoulders a tiny bit. So not dropping those hips, you can even tuck the toes if need be. And then come up. Untucking the toes, 
bringing the feet together, bringing the hips down towards the heels. We're going to start to lift the arms up overhead, keeping the elbows down. Pressing the chest down towards the floor, not super actively, but enough so that you can feel it through the shoulders and through the upper back. Keep your fingers interlaced, or you can just press palms towards one another. Inhale, put the hands down, lift the chest up, coming back onto the forearms, but separating them this time. And then we're going to tuck the chin in, press into the forearms, try and lift the upper back towards the sky. And then drop the chest, drop the belly, look forward, gripping onto the mat. Tilt the head from side to side. And then take the left hand, shoot it underneath the right armpit, and lower down. So keeping that right forearm on the mat, keeping the left palm flipped upward. And then sliding that left arm away, putting the forearm down on the mat, taking the right hand and sliding it underneath. Kind of on a diagonal line, so you're trying to reach for the bottom of your mat. Don't worry about putting the shoulder on the floor. Focus more on the pull and the stretch of the body. And come back to center. Tent the fingertips, draw the chest down, hold here, breathing in and out. And then lifting the chest up, walking the hand back towards the knee and coming in kneeling. So we're going to come into pinwheel. And with pinwheel, while you're in kneeling, you're going to take your body and shift it over to the right side. The right foot is going to come out in front on a 90 degree angle or 45 degree angle, depending on your hip. And the left leg is going to come back also in a 90 degree angle. So you want to make sure the knee is in line with the ankle and the knee in line with the hip. Sitting up as tall as you can, you're going to walk forward and fold over that right shin. Sometimes it's nice to grip onto the foot as you fold. There should be a slight pull on the outside edge of the thigh, outside edge of the butt cheek or the hip. And then walk your hands over to the right side, coming into a twist and folding down, keeping the feet still on the mat and maybe putting one forearm beside the other as you fold. Deep breathing still. Slowly walk your hand to the middle. We're going to fold over that shin again. You can use the right arm and place it out to the side to support as you fold. Slowly start to lift up. We're going to come on to the other side. So to come to the other side, you can just lift your knees and then shift. I'm going to shift in front so that you can see. Left shin comes in front, 
right leg peeled back, still that 90 degree angle, folding over the shin, maybe grabbing onto the toes with the right hand and using the left fingertips as leverage. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. We're going to twist towards the left side, bring the body down. Take your time here to really notice what feels tighter than usual. And take your time to notice if it actually feels comfortable. If it's not comfortable, shift yourself around until it feels comfortable enough that you can be here for a little bit longer. And bring your awareness back to the body, lift up. We're gonna fold over that left shin again. So grabbing onto it with the right hand, extending the left arm up to the side and pouring the chest down. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale, lift up. Bring the feet close, come back to kneeling. And we're just going to twist our body from side to side, nice and slow. Placing the hands on the thighs, fingers in towards one another. We're gonna press down, round to the upper back and try and bring our elbows forward. And as we bring our elbows forward, our fingers are actually starting to point towards the hip crease or towards the belly. Inhale, press up. Exhale, release. Shake the arms up. Let's take the fingers, bring them onto the shoulders and lift the shoulders up and then circle the shoulders down. Lifting up and exhale down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, dropping back. And then let's reverse it. Inhale, swinging back and forth. And then the shoulders are dropping. Bending them back, lifting them up, drawing them forward. Bending them back, lifting them up. Last one, good, drop them forward. Send the arms down. Move the jaw from side to side. And then tilt the head from side to side. Awesome. Let us bring our hips out in a seated position. So legs out as well, coming into a wide seat. This doesn't have to be super wide because we haven't done too, too much with our hamstrings. So just come to a point where it feels comfortable for you. And we're just gonna bring the forearms right in front of us or the hands right in front of us. So we still wanna have our chest slightly lifted. We're gonna point the toes away from each other or away from the body. And then we're gonna to point the toes towards the body. Walking those forearms a little bit more away or forward. Inhale. Exhale, point the toes. Inhale, send those toes back. Exhale, do the best that you can right now this very moment and just hold one more time. 
If you feel like you can take it a little bit further, then by all means, you can go further. Just do it to a point where it's safe for you and it's comfortable for you to rest here. Breathing in. And out. Letting those toes open out to the side. Don't let them cave in towards the center. Inhale. And exhale. Big breath in. And slow breath out. Let's walk our hands over to the right side, folding over that right leg, either putting the forearms down onto the mat or onto the floor, or holding on to the foot, the outside edge of that right foot and folding in. Just making sure that that left toe is still staying, staying pointed upward and not trying to cave in again. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to the other side. Same thing with the right toes. Make sure that they're perked up and they're not trying to fall in towards the center. Come to the forward fold that feels most comfortable for you. And if you need to bend the knee a little bit, bend the knee. If you have a pillow or a sweater, tuck it underneath the leg to kind of secure and help the hamstring. Breathing in and out from the center, lifting up. Exhale, one more fold forward. Even those toes lifted. And then nice and slow, walk the hands back. Twist the body towards the left side. So left hand behind the hip. Right hand can tuck underneath the outside of that left leg. Or you can just use it as a brace as you twist. Pressing the right hip down into the mat. And then other side. Twisting to the right. Right hand behind the hip. Stay up nice and tall, draw the belly button in. And come back to center. Bring the feet in. So slide the soles of the feet to the mat. And then crossing at the ankles, we're gonna come back into kneeling. So with our kneeling posture, we wanna keep the knees together, but we actually wanna send the feet out to the side. So the heels are really close to the hip, so you're not directly on the heels. For some of us, it's gonna be pretty intense on the quads already, just sitting here. So just make sure your knees feel okay. You might need to fold the mat and place it underneath the knees for some padding and keep them close together. For those that might have a book handy or maybe a little cushion that you can put underneath your seat, then for sure put it underneath your seat. Taking the hips down, walk the hands back, coming into hero. Here is good. If this is plenty intense on the front line of the thigh. Second option is coming down onto the forearms. And if this feels good, hang out here. Just be mindful of your knee. Is there pain? If there is, come on up. If it feels comfortable and you could be here for a little bit, then be here for a little bit. And then option number three, Coming all the way down to the ground and relaxing. Again, only come here if it feels comfortable for you. 
and it's not too intense on the front of the foot or on the knee or even on the hip. Just three breaths, inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And last one, inhale and exhale. If you're on the ground, Use your elbows, come up, nice and slow. Press the hips forward. And then lift the body up. Tuck the heels in, sitting back down on the heels. And then place the hands underneath or behind the hips and press the chest forward. Big breath in and slow breath out. <laughs> hey, still here. <laughs> and then we're going to come out of kneeling and extend the feet out and bring those toes back. So my camera is about to die, unfortunately. We might have to cut this short, but we'll go until we can't no more. Keep pedaling the feet, so pointing one and then the other. And then point both toes away from the body. And then point all the toes towards the chest. Seeing if you can lift the heels off the mat and then drop them down. With the big toes, we're gonna to point them in towards one another and try and connect the pinky toes towards one another as well, almost like we're giving ourselves a foot hand five, high five, foot hand, a foot high five. <laughs> and then we're gonna peel the pinky toes away and pour the big toes directly towards one another. And then bring the pinky toes together, big toes together. Try and connect the heels. And then one more time, big toes towards the center, lifting the pinky toes up. Point the toes back towards the chest, lifting up, placing the hands right beside the hips. And then inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, send the body back. So with the right foot, we're going to lift it up and lift the leg up, extending. Place the hands underneath the thigh, right at the hamstring, and drawing that foot close to the body or the leg close to the body. If it's easier to reach up, along the foot and draw in and reach up along the foot and draw in. Trying to keep that left leg down as best as possible or you might need to bend and then pull. Keep the back down. And extend. Bring it all the way down to the floor, other side. Left leg is going to lift up, extend through the right leg, place the hand where it feels comfortable for you. Try not to pull too much. Do it to a point where there's some ease in the extension and the pull, but there's not too much force that it feels like you're trying to cramp up. Inhale. And exhale. And then bring the leg down. Awesome. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest. And rock from side to side. 
elbow to elbow. And then soles the feet onto the mat, windshield wipe the knees from side to side. Nice and slow, bring the body up, coming into seated. And then we're gonna take the right hand out, point the fingertips down, take the left hand, Thumb right underneath the wrist and the fingers on top of that right hand, pulling the palm towards the body, keeping the arm stretched out, opening along the top of the wrist and the top of the hand. And then flipping those fingertips up, pulling back. And other side, fingertips point down. And then inhale, fingertips point up, pulling back. Make sure you're pulling back right at the base of the fingertips, so right where the first knuckle starts, just where the palm ends kind of at the top. Place your thumb right at the middle of the back of the hand. And then palms together. Big breath in. And sigh into the thumbs. <sighs> Twisting from side to side. Thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. <laughs> Namaste, I'm sorry that the video um, paused at some point, but I'm glad you guys still kept going. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna stop the recording.